RoadEng, the easiest civil design software you'll ever use. This is Joe. Joe is an engineer who likes what he does, and when he gets bogged down with complicated CAD software, he often wishes there was an easier way out. Hey Joe, don't worry, there is an easier way. RoadEng was designed for engineers just like you. RoadEng focuses on engineering over drafting. With a quick learning curve and powerful interactivity, engineers like Joe can design corridors from start to finish, from the survey data to the output sheets, without having to navigate a complex CAD environment. RoadEng is compatible with other CAD and GIS-based engineering systems, which means Joe can benefit from the speed and power of RoadEng, no matter what the workflow is in his organization. Used by consultants, governments, and other stakeholders in a variety of industries, RoadEng is the tried-and-true uncomplicated design software that still does complicated stuff. Which means Joe, like countless others, gets to enjoy engineering an easier way. Let's start this example in our terrain module by reading a total station survey file in CSV format. Here's a look at the file. It consists of a point code, northing, easting, and elevation. In Terrain, we're going to open that file, choosing all supported files, and Terrain will find the formats that match that extension. Here, we'll just take the first one. Here we have a dialog box that lets you set the incoming column positions. We've assigned X to column 2, Y to column 3, Z to column 4, and so on. There is also a code position, which we'll designate in column 1. The other thing I can do in this dialog box is set certain features in the incoming file. If they are linear features, I can automatically join them, allowing them to be break lines and connected. We can also set symbology and colors. Here's our data. If we zoom in, you can see all the line work is connected. The next thing I can do is create a terrain model. Here, we'll just take all the defaults. We now have a three-dimensional terrain model of our surface. And with a quick save, we're ready to start designing our road. We'll start the location module and reference the terrain we've just created. We're now looking at our location module and have three windows visible. Plan, Profile, and Cross-Section. The cross-section has been set up with a predefined default cross-section template. We aren't going to go into it much now, but it is a very flexible and powerful part of RoadEng. First thing we want to do is create our horizontal alignment. Let's maximize the plan window and very quickly sketch in some horizontal IP points. Our design objective is to make this road faster and safer. quickly going to pop in some additional IP points and now we've got a horizontal alignment with no curves. Let's open our horizontal curve panel and add some curves. Jumping to our first IP point and then into our first curve location. I'm going to apply a circular curve with a design speed of 40 miles per hour and a radius of 600 feet. Hit Apply, and we'll set it as our default curve. Moving through the rest of the curves, we can apply that same default. Next IP point, get default curve, apply. And there is our horizontal alignment with curves. Let's do the same for vertical. I'll switch over to the profile window with our mass hall graph underneath. Similarly to how we did the horizontal, we will put in a few vertical IP points, then add curves. I'll keep them simple and add a singular vertical curve, and then apply a parabolic curve with a design speed of 40. You can see that every change I make in RoadEng, everything updates. The plan window, the cross sections, the volumes, they are all updated.
We've got some design problems. The alignment is spilling over the side, and similarly in here, has a runaway slope. I'm in a very steep side hill. So to fix this, I'm going to need to move the alignment. I'll just come in here, and at my horizontal IP, I'll pull this point in next to this rock wall. It'll be quite expensive with a big rock cut, however, it's the design choice I'm making. Similarly, further along, I'll pull this IP in a bit, and our slope stakes are no longer running away. So I can keep working with this until I get a better answer, but I do have an alignment now. In looking at our mass hall graph, I have an excess of material. For illustration purposes, and to further demonstrate the interactive power of RoadEng, let's move the alignment. Unfortunately, our slope stakes are running away again, so let's go back and simply undo. A rough alignment works. It could be improved, but it quickly demonstrates the speed and interactivity of creating an alignment with RoadEng. Let's complete the example by looking at output. In RoadEng, you can create your own custom output sheets. Let me call one up. Here we've got plan over profile with additional info on the side. It's set up for D size large scale plotter, but can be adjusted for any paper size. Also notice, this is a multi-page output. If we jump to the second page of our plan and profile, they track with each other. Here's another example, a sectional output, again on a D size sheet. Here we've got a series of cross sections and all of this info on the sheet is very configurable, much like the AutoCAD paper space. You can, at any time, save info to DWG. If I wanted to work on this file in AutoCAD, I simply need to save it as a DWG. And that completes our design. We hope you enjoyed it.